Okay, now let's move on to multiplying mixed numbers. When you go to multiply a mixed number, basically you're going to kind of follow the same steps as you did when you multiplied regular fractions. But the problem is, if you have a mixed number, you have to first convert it to an improper fraction. You can't just multiply 3 times 2, 3 times 4, 4 times 5. You have to first convert it to an improper fraction. And remember, we learned how to do this before, where we say 4 times 3 plus 3. 4 times 3 is 12, plus the 3 is 15. So we're going to convert that to 15 over, we leave the denominator the same, 4. Over here, 5 times 2 is 10. Add the numerator, 14. So we're going to have 14 over 5, because 5 times 2, 10, 10 plus 4 is 14. Now we can multiply those together. And just like when we multiplied regular fractions, we're going to ask ourselves, can we cross cancel? So let's look here. Can I cross cancel a 15 and a 5? Yes, I can. What no, what's the biggest number that goes into 5 and 15? That would be 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1. 15 divided by 5 is 3. Can I cross cancel a 4 and a 14? Yes, I can. What number will go into both of those? These can both be divided by 2. 4 divided by 2 is 2. 14 divided by 2 is 7. So now, if we multiply straight across, 3 times 7, 21. 2 times 1, 2. Now that's an improper fraction, so we're going to have to convert it back to a mixed number. Two How many times does 2 go into 21? 2 goes into 21 10 times, because 2 times 10 is 20, and there would be 1 left over. We leave the denominator the same. So you kind of start with the pretty mixed numbers. You have to convert it into the ugly improper fractions. You're going to get an ugly answer and then you got to make it pretty again. So pretty, make it ugly so you can do it, and then make it pretty again. Okay, let's take a look at this one. We're going to have to convert these. So let's use our shortcut. 6 times 2, 12. 12 plus 5 is 17. 17 over 6 times 2 times 4, 8. 8 plus 1, 9 over, leave the denominator the same. Okay, so let's see if we can cross cancel. Can I cross cancel? Does anything go into 17 and 2? No, unfortunately not. How about 6 and 9? That will work. Both of those can be divided by 3. 9 divided by 3 is 3. 6 divided by 3 is 2. So now if we multiply, 17 times 3, if you multiplied it out, is 51. Now, I did it in my head, but you could kind of do 17 times 3. You'll see 21, carry the 2, 51, over 4. Now, that's kind of an ugly fraction there. We're going to have to do a little division. So how many times does 51, 4 goes into 51? Let's see. Bring this down. 4 goes into 11 2 times, 8. With three left, whoops, whoa, three left over. So, four goes into 51, 12 times with, it's kind of an ugly one there, sorry about that, three left over, and we'll keep the denominator the same. Okay? And let's do one more. One more. Let's convert this. Five times five, 25, plus two, 27. Over 5, we'll always leave the denominator the same. E oh, what do I have to do here? Do I have to convert anything? Nope, no converting necessary. I can just bring it down. It's already a fraction. So, let's see if we can cross cancel. 5 and 8, does anything go into 5 and 8? Mm, nope. What about 9 and 27? Yeah, both of those can be divided by 9. So, 9 divided by 9 is 1. 27 divided by 9 is 3. So now we can multiply. 3 times 8, 24. 5 times 1, 5. I've got to convert that because it's an improper fraction. 
How many times does 5 go into 24? 4 times, because 4 times 5 is 20, which means there would be 4 left over. And you again, leave the denominator the same. So start pretty, and make it ugly to get the answer, and then convert it back to pretty. So that's how you multiply mixed numbers.